Hey guys, in this video we'll uh, review the portfolio of uh, Shaheen and uh, basically Shaheen is uh, a experienced uh, UI UX designer and uh, I think he's uh, very talented and uh, he definitely has uh, a really good portfolio so we're going to review his triple portfolio and uh, I'm just going to uh, say my opinion off the cuff and uh, try to uh, help him in uh, the process so let's just jump into the video so uh, as you can see um, his dribble portfolio is uh, like the first impression which I have uh, is uh, positive like it looks clean uh, um, I like the minimal style which uh, uh, you're using and um, I think that overall uh, uh, the gradients uh, or you know the, the style overall it's, uh, it's pretty clean and uh, um, I like it personally. I think it's very similar to mine's. So obviously I'm biased when it comes to the styles, but um, I think that the details uh, by which you go, the typography and uh, you know the, the sizing, it's pretty balanced in uh, this project. Maybe it's a little bit big, but you know depending on the on the requirement and uh, you know on the specific project for that client, uh, these variables can change. I also like the uh, variation. So in this one, uh, the colors are pretty pretty cool. Um, the UI uh, works uh, together. I don't have any pointers, and obviously I don't have the uh, like. I'm just doing a surface level um, judgment and opinion because I don't know the um, the details of the project. So that's uh, that's uh, something that I would uh, recommend you to add. Uh, maybe in the description, as you mentioned in the previous portfolio review. And um, yeah, I think that like overall uh, the projects look, look clean, but uh, if I were a potential client, uh, I might need uh, more information as to the why you um, decided to go with this solution instead uh, of uh, another one. So. Maybe talking a little bit more about the UX part uh, in your project, that could be um, pretty uh, useful for sure. And uh, that's something that uh, us uh, as designers, we can uh, look at this and uh, we can say, oh, we lo it looks amazing. It looks uh, like a really clean design. But uh, clients, most of the time, they aren't the focused too much uh, on the design unless they're specifically looking to hire like a pure UI designer. But uh, most of the times uh, they want to understand uh, your thought process and uh, your thinking abilities behind uh, the creation of uh, uh, the designs because, um, you know, uh, you can create an amazing looking uh, UI design, but uh, if it's not uh, serving the the purpose and it's not uh, achieving the goals for the clients, uh, users and customers, um, it's pretty much useless. So that's something which uh, I would uh, definitely recommend you to add uh, in the descriptions. And uh, I know there's a trend on Dribbble not to have like long descriptions, but if you're using Dribble as your main source of uh, lead generation, um, I would uh, tailor this uh, specifically to um, to the client. So I would use uh, longer descriptions. I would describe uh, the projects uh, in detail. So you know that's uh, just just me, uh, my opinion on this. Uh, and um, yeah, I, th I think that overall this looks good. Uh, the type of the type of uh, projects which I'm seeing are is uh, also pretty varied, so it's a lot of uh, dashboard, but also website uh, and uh, mobile app design, which uh, I think it's great uh, if you're specifically looking to attract clients, uh, which uh, are going to give you uh, those type of projects because uh, obviously what uh, you're showing in your portfolio is a reflection of the type of clients that you will attract. And um, that's actually some, one of the reasons why I'm a big proponent, especially for beginners, to create uh, side projects. Because um, with side projects, you can create projects which uh, interest you, um, and uh, you can really show your uh, visual design abilities and attract the clients that uh, are, are attracted to those kind of things. So that can be <clears throat> something to consider, and um, definitely. 
uh, good. But overall, I think that your portfolio um, is looking pretty good. Uh, there's also some social proof with 3,000 followers. I'm wondering if uh, um, if it's worth uh, maybe uh, adding your current availability because I'm seeing that you're on a team right now and uh, as a potential client I'm wondering uh, what's your weekly av availability is it 10 hours is it 20 hours is it 40 hours so that's something that you might consider having here um, in the in the bio instead of uh, if you have any questions contact me which is uh, you know something that um, you know, you, you, you could use uh, this real estate better for something that uh, communicates something that, which uh, could be beneficial for the potential client. Um, you might want to include what software is you're using. So if you're using Adobe XD or SketchUp, uh, because some clients, especially if, you're, if they're looking purely for UI designers, maybe they already have uh, some designers on the team which are using Sketch. Uh, so if, uh, if they see that you're using Sketch too, um, that could be like a, a small bonus just to get uh, the ball rolling. <clears throat> and also I would suggest you to give a call to action to, um, to either call you right away, but I know it's hard on Dribbble. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I always recommend uh, uh, designers to have a personal website. And um, the reason being is that on a personal website, even if it's uh, like you don't have to go crazy with it, even just one page uh, will do it. And um, basically on your personal website, you can uh, um, communicate the things that you want uh, the, the clients to know straight, straight away. So you can go into the details of the projects uh, uh, by adding more information. You can add uh, your services and uh, also a call to action to a discovery call. Maybe a little bit about your background, where you're from, uh, what's your experience? Um, do you have a, a college educa education or did you take courses or, you know, just just to have some context, because uh, sometimes uh, that can uh, really uh, help you, especially with uh, some some clients. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But overall, I think you're you're doing a, a good job uh, and uh, the the thing with this uh, uh, with this base uh, is just to um, do the lead generation now if you're looking for extra work, and uh, it's just a numbers game really. You have to just uh, send uh, a lot of emails or you know send a lot of proposals on Upwork. Uh, however, you want to uh, find those leads, it can even be a LinkedIn or Facebook groups. Uh, um, really, nowadays the opportunities are endless to do lead generation. So, I mean, this is uh, pretty much uh, a topic which uh, um, I also cover in, in my YouTube channel. So, if you're interested in learning more about uh, ways by which you can uh, find new clients, do lead generation, uh, feel free to check the other videos which uh, I made in which uh, I will go more into the details of this. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I think uh, you are doing uh, uh, pretty good. Um, I might consider changing the uh, profile picture just because uh, the uh, illumination isn't like uh, uh, that good. I think you could do like a better job with the profile picture. But yeah, I mean, apart from these details, I think you're definitely onto something. And uh, also check out the, um, the other social profiles because uh, let me have a quick look okay yeah at the first glance uh, I like the Dribble uh, link more but you know it's it's okay I guess okay so you're pretty active on the Twitter as well so yeah that's um, that's definitely positive this is very similar to dribble that's cool and uh, yeah uh, this uh, for some reason is redirecting to this uh, profile so you might want to double check that because um, if I were a potential client and uh, I seen uh, these links uh, I would definitely check them out so be sure to have uh, consistency between uh, all of these uh, other sites uh, and uh, social profiles because um, you know that's uh, that's always helpful but um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> apart from this, uh, I think you're doing like a really good job uh, 
and uh, it's all about uh, uh, kicking in with the lead generation to find the extra work now and uh, if that's the case uh, and uh, if not uh, you're a uh, well lucky man <laughs> you're in a, in, a, in a good place um, but yeah I hope this review was helpful uh, obviously I cannot go too much into the details of uh, these projects because uh, um, I don't have like more information and each and every one of these projects it's uh, a world uh, uh, by in itself but um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and uh, for anyone who's watching uh, uh, feel free to leave a comment below if you want uh, me to review your social profile or website portfolio and uh, yeah I'd, I'd be very happy to do so and uh, if you're interested in learning more about uh, UI UX design I have an entire YouTube channel in which uh, I'm sharing uh, um, my advice on uh, software tutorials and uh, freelance design business because uh, I'm a UI UX designer with over eight years of experience and uh, uh, I'm basically creating this channel to share my experience with you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next 